Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Felicia here, and uh, uh, this is awkward. I haven't done a video in so long. I don't even remember how to start these. Um, anyway, Ruby had an update today, new content, so I wanted to talk about it because I haven't made a video in a really, really long time. Um, I even brought out my Rooster Teeth Ruby hoodie, if you can see it. The little, it's like 90 degrees outside, so I want to get through this very quickly because I'm already sweating. I can feel it. Uh, let's see, so... I didn't know they had a panel today, but they talked about the soundtrack, they talked, there's a clip apparently, um, and other things. So we're just going to go through this. It's like 36 minutes long. I'm not going to obviously record the whole thing, just the Ruby bits. So hopefully this video will only be like maybe five minutes. Just trying to get back in the swing of things, you know? Alrighty. So without further ado, we're going to start. It's, uh, we got special guest. FJ DeSanto in the house. Okay, yeah, I'm watching it on two times speed because, again, I'm just trying to get to the Ruby bits, and this is 36 minutes long. 22, 23 year old when we started this. Okay, wait. I don't want to. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I think they're actually talking about Ruby now, so we're gonna go to normal plays back speed, and we're gonna hit play. All right, let's go. I was too young. Let me put it that way, but and I still am. Uh, but yeah, we're working on our eighth volume right now. Uh, we actually, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a minute. Uh, Maybe I won't get copyrighted if I, which is if like, I do it actually one point five. Crazy first, uh, first to pull this far ahead. But uh, <laughs> Even before we talk impressed. more, <laughs> uh, I'm still, I'm still pinching myself and also uh, uh, learning how to balance stuff. But uh, we, uh, before we, oh thanks. Before we get into talking too much about volume eight, uh -huh, maybe we can talk about uh -huh, some things that are uh -huh. happening uh, even sooner. Or if you want to start sooner. that off, Ooh. even sooner. The volume eight. Uh, we what do you have mean? a bunch of cool news coming up. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with a cool collab we're doing with someone named Babs Tar. Uh, love that name, by the way. Uh, oh, we're doing a collab oh. With Babs Tar uh, okay. uh, with Ruby for some new Ooh. merch. Right. Look at this. Awesome. I thought this. Okay, see, I only skimmed the content that I saw online, so I thought this was like the cover for the soundtrack. So I'm like, that doesn't really fit with Ruby, but okay, I see what they're doing a little bit. Okay, so it's just, it's just, um, what'd she say? Oh my god, the words. What are words? You know what I'm saying. The thing, the thing. Cool. Merch. Style. Jesus Christ. My favorite really cool. thing ever. In case um, you were like just a little gay, <laughs> now you are full gay. <laughs> I didn't think I was until I saw that drawing. <laughs> Here we are. It looks cool, like. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's crazy. I can talk fine off camera, but since they get on here, I'm like a stuttering mess. I hate it. We did recently announce that unfortunately RTX 2020 was canceled because everything going on in the world. We want to stay safe. We want to keep you guys safe. So unfortunately, they took forever to cancel RTX. I'm like back in March. I'm like all these other places are getting canceled. All the other conventions. I'm like RTX are just canceled. Like what are they doing? Just cancel. They took the longest I feel to cancel their convention. Actually, we're not holding a physical event. I wasn't going anyway. So whatever. My friends didn't want to go. But uh, Coop Comics is still on, and because we've, you know, partnered with Babs Tar and her team to do Ruby streetwear and inspired outfits and all this stuff, um, there's going to be a virtual experience coming this fall. I do like their Comics, clothes. So you guys, uh, obviously, have more information on that soon. But stay but, tuned over the course of the next few weeks. Uh, yeah. we'll follow Rishi Social. I like things that are like more subtle. Like I don't want to see like a big Ruby logo on my outfits, you know, or like a big like photo of gang or or weiss or whatever or something like their emblems yeah but their logos yeah but not their photos if that makes sense because i'm not gonna wear that out social and ruby social and all that stuff for more info on that yeah and you can find even more info on something happening it like a week from now i can't do math but very soon uh Ooh. the volume 7 soundtrack it's coming Ooh. out Ooh. july july yes okay. let's go oh. I need, I need, I need let's go it's gonna, <laughs> yeah. and, and guess what you can on all streaming platforms or you could buy it on itunes google play or amazon nice wherever you would like to give us your money but we please ask <laughs> that, that you do <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm really excited because I know, uh, you know, the fans like to, it, it's nice to, you know, be able to revisit the, the series or this, the last mm. season as you kind of wait for the next one. Uh, people have been asking for it. They've been hard to work on it. And uh, yeah, I think people are really going to like it. I was surprised that even, oh, wow, there's, I crossed my eye. Sorry about that. That's gross. Um, I was surprised that they even released it as late as they did because usually it comes out in, what, June? And it's like the end of July. So that means that, one, there's probably a lot of songs on it. And two, uh, they worked exponentially hard on the soundtrack so I'm, I'm really excited to see what it's like um yeah from the songs in the volume itself like i forget touch the sky and trust love and uh the one that played in gravity those are all pretty good so 
you know i'm uh, excited my jams yeah One of can we please get a blake solo song though please like it is not relevant for this volume because she didn't have much to do with this volume but like just throwing it out there into the, the universe got, and this is something we tease uh at the last rtx and this is not the only thing about it but this is the start of this relationship that we want to share with you uh ruby is officially working with good smile uh Ooh. if you are familiar with anime toys uh okay. or honestly a lot of toys now at this point uh good smile is uh you know a really well-known toy maker uh i have an embarrassing number of them uh in my house and uh, at our office which i haven't i miss them um, <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> I, I, yeah I, I miss them but uh we're doing uh, i don't know what good toys is Ruby so uh it's gonna be approximately 17 to 18 centimeters um you know, some, somewhere in there. Uh, depends on if you count Ruby or the Scythe, but it's one. <laughs> um, and yeah, you'll be able to start pre-ordering it on August 3rd. Um, we're we're super excited to work with them. Looks they are cool. some of the nicest people. And uh, like I said, that's just the uh, the start of that relationship. Uh, and we've got more to talk about, but all that stuff is on. I would like cool figures like that, but I have uh, nowhere to put ours. them. Like, they just be uh, covered yeah, in dust. That's, and, uh, yeah. that's some other stuff that's happening. But what about what about some stuff that's happening now, or maybe some questions people might have? Right? We do, Carrie. It's funny you should ask. We got some fan submitted questions. Yes, let's go. Uh, and I'll let you answer the first one. This one comes from Lissy. Thank you. First one: Who dies? Or I don't know. Will we see summer? The basic questions that we always get. Uh, and Lissy writes: It's been stated you've already started working on Ruby Volume Nine. What things have you learned that have helped you get this far ahead so fast? Uh, work with talented people, uh, and more of them. <laughs> I mean, true. you know, having uh, having more writers in the writers' room. Uh, having more episode directors uh, has really helped, you know, me kind of find the right balance of where I need to be at what time, uh, and and let us kind of push ahead. Um, but you know, it's 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 really it's been about uh, being consistent, and uh, I don't I don't know that anything dramatic changed besides just honestly us all dark? working together. I know it's kind of like a cheesy, dumb answer, but I mean it's it's really just been us kind of focusing and uh, things been dark. I would say, um, you know, working from home has been a little tough, but mm. uh, it's the show's still going. Um, it hasn't really slowed down. So, Super it's a lot fun. of fun. Just Barb, I have a question for you. Check something that right you have to quick. Somehow answer without spoiling anything. So have fun. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Never mind. I love those this kinds of questions. Not. This is from uh, Paris Castillo, 45. Uh, what is the theme going to be for Volume 8 of Ruby? Um, oh, man. Maybe, uh, maybe, talk and talk, maybe. Uh, oh, the theme. Game, okay. Maybe uh, some stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it's, it's always a fun little game to try to describe the theme of a season yeah again without spoiling anything yeah. but mm. i would say like especially for yang and maybe like some others in the season i, I feel like the theme is distrust um <gasps> oh. which i know sounds Ooh. very no. serious Drama. Drama. i think uh yeah it, it coming from volume seven i think that that one uh might make a good bit of sense <laughs> yeah it's not so, such a shock but i feel like especially true, with true. yang um i feel like an overall theme it's oh shoot my food like someone or ah! like someone or someone is close to you doesn't necessarily mean you have to agree with everything they do or say that's interesting uh, I feel like but i want to pause real quick sorry i had a pot pie in the oven just timer just went off very not that y'all uh, care part of this season that you guys will see very yeah. soon yeah it's uh right. i'm really excited volume eight uh the crew student are a great job. So I'm, I'm Let me just go back this. real quick to see what she said again. Yeah, it's, it's such a shock, but I feel like, especially sure, with sure. Yang, um, I feel like an overall theme, it's just because you like someone or respect someone or someone is close to you doesn't necessarily mean you have to agree with everything they do or say. Uh, and I feel like that is a very uh, big part of this season that you guys will see. Very I think time. that could either be in regards to two people because Yang, from what we saw, it's been like little tidbits here and there that she didn't agree with keeping things from Ironwood. Like she disagreed with Ruby about that and she was more on the side of Oscar, right? And then um, in the, the van where they were like sticking out trying to get Robin, she again says like, hey, we should have told Ironwood. And Blake was like, uh, no, he's crazy. I think it was best to keep it close to our chest. So I think she's gonna be disagreeing with the two of them possibly because like it's, it's been shown it's been hinted at that she doesn't agree with their logic on things whether to say that's right or wrong who knows but that's just yang's perspective that i saw at least who will be really interested she goes against her like blake obviously who she likes and then ruby her sister who's been with her since the very beginning you know oh this uh, is fascinating I'm really excited. Volume eight, uh, I, I like this i like internal conflict so I'm, I'm just i'm really excited for y'all to see it yes and then uh we have one final question here oh. from ray Carol, I'll let you answer this. Okay, can sure, Blake, yeah. Can Blake purr? I'm, I'm not answering that. Maybe if she's really excited. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it, but maybe. Only time will tell. <laughs> he, he said maybe. Only time will tell. 
He said maybe. Um, well, this clip, fix everyone. <laughs> this clip is, uh, we, have, we have a clip to show y'all, and it is definitely not uh, Blake purring. But uh, it is pretty cool, especially. What's the matter? Like, she could purr. Uh, nah, she's a cat. Like, yeah, why not? I do. Oh, here's the clip. <gasps> All right. The others are definitely missing out. That's some fluid animation right there. Ah, I wanted to go back and see what that was. So she gets a new bike. I already saw the, uh, the screenshots of this. But it's just them four. Interesting. Where's the others? Yeah, just uh, a, li a little taste of what's to come. Nice, nice. Still, still work on stuff. That's uh, I'll just say it's one of the early episodes. Uh, okay, yeah, early. Uh, okay. You know, we're still we're working on volume eight. We're figuring out how this works from home. Aren't they uh, supposed to be uh, under arrest? Volume eight is still going to come out this year. Isn't there a warrant out for their so arrest? Why aren't these out in the street? <laughs> like uh, what? Really yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Karen, and thank you everyone else for joining us today. Okay, that's the end. That's the end. That's the end. All right. There's only like what, two more minutes left. Um, let's just go back, and I'm gonna not watch this on 1.25 speed. Watch this normally. So, just to analyze the quick an analysis, this looks like Pietro's workshop, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm yeah, because there's like a robot arm in the background here. If you can see my cursor, and then there's this little clipboard here, which I think was in his office when we first saw him in volume seven and also the floorboards let's just look run down and i remember his office looking a little run down he isn't mantle after all so i'm assuming they make some bikes or they steal some bikes for them oh she's so happy oh all right the others are definitely missing out so what are the others doing It's a HVB Rhino HD S80. Uh, refer to owner's manual for diagnostic information. Uh, it has radio, it has AM, FM radio. And a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't understand. So cool. And we see Mantle in the daytime. I don't think we've seen Mantle at all in the day before. Shh, so loud, oh my God. <laughs> Oscar. So he's fine, everyone's fine. Looks really cloudy. What is it? Salem attacking? What is going on here? I heard that volume eight takes place over two days and Salem showed up. So like, is there, what's going, like, I have questions. If she's there and this is early on in the volume, volume eight takes place over two days. When did they have time to do this? Where is she? Where are the people? What's going on? Uh, okay. I have questions, obviously. That's what these panels are for, right? To get you excited, to get you pumped, and I definitely am. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Whatever. Um, that's all I got for today, guys. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Felici. Follow me on Twitter. Both links in the description, please. Um, and I think that's it. I don't know when my next video is going to be. I might do, like, a listening thing for the soundtrack. Um... But last time I did that, it got copyrighted and it got like blocked and it was just weird. So I'll see what I can do about that. But anyway, thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.